Welcome back guys, you're watching today's Platinum and in this video I wanted to do a weekly uh, market leader analysis, basically going over the top three market leaders and kind of uh, doing a, a technical analysis on them and talking about the markets the past week. Um, kind of a new series I wanted to start for you guys doing a an analysis on the entire market at the end of each week. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, definitely let me know if you want to keep seeing this every Sunday. Uh, that's what I was thinking we could do it at, but um, let me know in the comments. But before we get into the video, guys, if you guys are interested, I am now offering one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions to do personalized investment consultations and help you out with anything that you have uh, problems wise with trading um, investing in cryptocurrency stocks uh, other passive investments entrepreneurship online business social media marketing as well as affiliate marketing and creating your own online business those are my specialties but I'm sure most of you guys will be looking for investment advice so I've tailored those one-on-one -on -one coaching calls to basically do a full uh, investment strategy tailored to your specific needs and situations. So if you guys are interested in that, there's a 30 minute and a 60 minute investment consultation available for you guys to go ahead and take advantage of. Also, we do have our cryptocurrency education course. We're actually going to be um, coming out with a new program um, in a couple weeks now. We're going to be doing a three month program for all of you guys who want to become full time um, investors or part time investors or or, you know just an investor on the side no matter what we're going to give you all the resources you need uh, to basically become and transform yourself and have the right mindset of a professional investor whether that's a day trader a swing trader or a long-term investor in a three-month trading program um, it's going to be broken down like that but you can watch it all at once of course but that's going to be coming in a couple weeks guys so if you guys are excited for that definitely uh, let me know in the comments but getting into the video um, for the past week or so, we have seen some nice promising movement upwards uh, towards the upside, kind of you know bouncing off that key support level we wanted to see for Bitcoin specifically and starting to move up. So as you can see in the seven day price chart, most things have uh, started to move up over the last week. Uh, some of them haven't, but um, normally the market does follow Bitcoin um, eventually. So if they haven't yet, then most coins are, are, are starting to begin to. Um, some of the uh, coins that actually did very well pretty recently. Zilliqa had quite a bump up V chain as well as Bitcoin Cash. So a um, lot of a lot of good prices that we're seeing starting to rise again. I think we are looking on the upside right now. Uh, we did break above that 7600 point, so now we are looking to break even further. Jumping into the top three market leaders, and guys, this is just um, I guess. I call it market leaders. I know the top three market cap are Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple, but um, considering that Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin have been on Coinbase, I can I kind of still consider them the market leaders, um, and they they do kind of drive the market. So. Um, those are the kinds of the coins that I will be doing an analysis on every week. Um, it's possible that I might start doing the you know um, top five or something like that: Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum. Um, Litecoin Ripple and Bitcoin Cash or something like that, but either way, um, we'll figure it out. So um, looking at the long-term Bitcoin chart, uh, guys, we've been looking at this wedge for a while now, and we are expecting to start a, you know, see a breakout in the next, you know, a week or two ago. I said the next couple weeks, and we are starting to see that rise up. Hopefully, we can start to move a little quicker, although stable uh, growth is always good. Um, so once we start to move up further, we can really um, gauge whether or not we're going to break out of this wedge or not. I think once we do get above uh, 8,000, I think it is going to be smooth sailing up to about 9,000, break that point and shoot up to 10,000 and possibly break that as well. So um, that's what we're kind of looking at. As you can see on the uh, one day RSI chart, uh, we are moving up and seeing some nice momentum. Um, and you can also see that on the price chart. So uh, I will look to break a, the res resistance level around 8,000, and after we uh, push past that, I would expect to move further. Um, probably next resistance we'll see is around like 8,300, 83 to 8,500. We'll see a resistance there. Um, so that's what I'm looking at for Bitcoin. If we do see a pullback, I want to hold at least 75, 7,400. Don't really want to see us break back down to 73 or 72, but it is possible that we do break down to about 7,500 would be um, the area that I'm looking to uh, have a support at if we do see some backwards movement. So uh, jumping into Ethereum's chart, 
as we can see, uh, we're seeing some nice growth with Ethereum as well. Um, I wouldn't start to pick up Ethereum just yet. I think, um, you know, it's possible that we might see a, pull, a nice little pullback, uh, at least back to a support around um, 562 if we do see a Bitcoin pullback. So I'm going to wait to see if that, but um, Ethereum is not a for sure buy for me right now. Um, neither, you know, Bitcoin's more of a buy than Ethereum is right now just because of the price level that we're seeing with Ethereum. Um, you know, obviously back in around April for Ethereum, we saw it reach some all time lows um, along with, I mean, Bitcoin as well. But uh, we kind of saw that in February, not April. Um, I mean, obviously we saw a pullback in April as well, but we didn't really see a, a, a large Ethereum pullback until April for the first time. And when we did see that, uh, we obviously hit a level pretty low around $366. So that would have been a prime time to buy. Uh, we went all the way up to about 834, uh, beginning of May and then came back down to 509. So I would look for a little bit more of a pullback. The upside back to where we were would be about a three X gain. If you can get it about 500 or a little fi under 500. So hopefully we see a little bit of an Ethereum pullback, but for me, Bitcoin is more of a buy than Ethereum right now. Jumping into the last coin that we'll look at is Litecoin. Now, Litecoin, as you can see, is a lot lower um, compared to where it's been. Kind of had a nice decline on the chart, but also um, holding a nice level of support, also moving up as well. So kind of a, uh, a more subtle wedge. The bottom is kind of more of a straight line support, um, but the top is definitely a descending resistance level. So um, if we can break above a point of around 130, 130 to 140, I think we should be looking good. Um, obviously, we're starting to move up already. And Litecoin for me is definitely a good buy right now, considering that uh, some of the past lows have been like 113 and around that level as well. Um, I think the lowest was like 103. So considering we're at 125, the upside could be anywhere to $400, um, 400, 230 and 182 i do think there is more reward versus the risk when it comes to investing in litecoin at this point and i definitely think um, we're seeing a good price for it right now to um, look to invest in so um, litecoin is probably the biggest buy for me this week um, i would definitely look to start trading litecoin and build up a position in that for the longer term because i do think litecoin will see a lot of upside once bitcoin takes off and litecoin will definitely break these highs and shoot more up towards possibly uh, 600 to a thousand dollars so uh, that's kind of what i'm looking at for the past week guys still looking to break above about eight thousand for bitcoin and move upwards um, that key point is going to be around 8,800 to 9,000 that we want to see to break above that wedge and really show um, solid signs of a bull pattern or a bull market coming so um, hope you guys enjoyed this weekly analysis on the market leaders again that's Bitcoin Ethereum and Litecoin uh, for the best buy for this week is definitely going to be Litecoin looking at um, you know, the risk is going to be, you know, you could drop back down to 103 possibly, but the reward in the long term could be upwards of $400. So if you guys any have any, um, you know, money laying around out of these three, Litecoin is definitely the top pick for this week compared to Ethereum and Bitcoin. Second best would definitely be Bitcoin. And then I would go for Ethereum. Um, I think, you know, uh, next week, we'll, maybe we'll do Bitcoin Cash. Um, but, uh, let me check out Bitcoin cashes for a sec. Uh, Bitcoin cash would not be a top for me. I would put that behind Ethereum. So, um, Litecoin, then Bitcoin, then Ethereum, then Bitcoin cash. If you guys are interested in investing in crypto this week, but that is the weekly now. So again, guys, if you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching calls or our private trading course, um, the private trading course is only going to be available and offer the, um, the lifetime private membership group for only so much longer uh, due to the fact that we're releasing a new and improved program for all of you guys who want to really go above and beyond and get, uh, you know, really learn how to make smart investments, not only in cryptocurrency, but as the stock market and also other passive investments as well. So um, if you guys are looking forward to that or want to check any of that out, go ahead and let me know. But uh, with that out of the way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Have a good one, guys.